So welcome back, I'm with LEGO Assassin 57 and we're here checking out his submission to the lineup review. So uh, yeah, uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, this is USS Voyager NCC 74656. Oh, 74656. This is from uh, the Star Trek series Voyager. Well, I was only kidding a little, but yeah, that note is very nice. We've seen a couple of Voyagers. Uh, is this completely hand built by yourself? Uh, yes, and it I does did it look completely like it. legitimately on a server. So. Yeah, it does look, you, you can tell when someone's at, I just wanted to hear it from you, you know, because uh, it's good to hear that, but uh, I really like what you've done with your wedge positioning to make the contours. Yeah, well, the thing with the wedges is on the server that I built it on, they had a yep. problem with catalog, and when I saved it, every single wedge on the ship was damaged. Oh, did you go so, around uh, and repair it? Yeah, and repair uh, Enterprise it? helped me go around and repair it all. Oh, that was cool of him, very nice. Very There's nice. still some cracked windows in the shuttle bay, so credit there is a massive due. amount of interior. Oh, amazing, that's good. Well, in that case, I'm going to go all the way around this beast. Uh, is there anything you'd like me to look at in particular on the exterior before we move inside? Um, there's not really any particular things, it's just kind of generic -y sort of off copy from Voyager. Yeah. But uh, I actually got the source section a bit too wide, I think, compared to Voyager, so... Well, I wouldn't worry about scaling so much at the end of the day. You've got a very clean line on that exterior. I mean, I've seen a lot of smedits that have been smoothed, and to be honest, it's kind of fresh to see a hand build which looks so clean, so credit where credit is due. Did I just fall off my surfboard? Ah, yeah, I probably did, I don't know what happened to it. My surfboard, no! Where'd it go? Uh, Technical difficulties, I'll meet you I at the back it. door. Yeah, the shuttle bike. Yeah. It, it's floating back here. Yeah, but unfortunately it's factioned. Uh, I'm, I'm floating over towards the uh, back of his ship now, so I'm just going to carry on with this. But uh, if someone could oh. like figure out where it is, I'll, I'll go and I get think it. Someone hit it. It's moving. Oh, is it? Okay, maybe they're battering it over here. If anyone could like ping it to the back of this ship, that would be really helpful. Um, but don't hit it too hard. <laughs> all right, cheers. All right then, uh, mate. Tell me all about this. These are my two shuttles. Uh, the one on the uh, right, the Type 9 shuttle, that one was actually smedited. I just made it all smooth and everything. The one on the right is smedited? Uh, the sleek one. My the right? The sharp nose so the one you're mind. looking at now, yeah? Yeah. Okay, but then obviously you cleaned it up because it, it, wouldn't yeah. look that well. it wouldn't look that good. But yeah, it'd be, yeah very nice. I've also got these uh, little docking things here, so when you dock you can actually close the door behind you. Without having to turn around. Where's that? Oh. Uh, over where I am, this little red and yellow thing. Yeah. So what's that for? So when you uh, close that, it closes the hangar bay doors. Oh, I get you. So yeah, you don't have yeah. to turn around when you're docking. Very which is quite handy. Yeah, that's very. Yeah, that's very cool. I like that idea. So it obviously goes under the floor, does it, or does it go over the? Where does it go? Uh, I can't actually remember. I can't remember. I think it goes down, so I'm guessing it goes under the floor. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I wouldn't recommend using gravity because my turbo lifts are just like spaghetti. Uh, so. And the ship is moving. Yeah, it kind of is jittering a bit. Yeah, like, voyagers all ha voyagers have minds of their own, so don't worry. Let's just keep going. This happens a lot with the Voyager builds for some um, reason. Anyway, we going up. The uh, it, it's kind of awkward to look around. I think. Uh, oh my that god! Would probably be the best way first. Is, um, look, suddenly I was in the Matrix. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's a corridor leading to like four down here. Is, uh, that's a long eight. corridor, dude. It's a long ship. Wow, okay. 334 meters long. It's very white, too. Yes. <laughs> okay, no worries. Let's go. Ooh, what's um, this? This is the warp core viewing area. Okay. It's not actually from Voyager, I just wanted to... You just wanted board. one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who cares? It's your Voyager. You can yeah, make it how you want. Oh, like who's this? Good. We've got a spectator. Who's that? <laughs> Hello. It's Dalmon. I'm in love with this ship, so I'm willing to take the tour again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The surfboard is outside the ship now. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate uh, it so much. Away. Did it? Dalmon I don't know how I did that. Engineering. 
Okay. Uh, there's two levels to main engineering. There's also a uh, probe docking bay back ooh, there. Ooh, a probe uh, bay. Which I can well, you got to take us through it, my friend, but try not to double back too many times. So you just you are yeah, the, I've, the I've architect of this going. tour. Brilliant. Uh, as you can see, some of the slopes are still damaged. Haven't yeah, the I understand. Um, it's hard to get a repair of drone in here. <laughs> yeah. I've just been replacing them so uh, inside. Um, this is the main warp core. Yep. I've oh, I love the, the control panel. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's my. Uh, that's like the main control panel. The control the panels are outstanding. What's down here? Oh no, the dilithium. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> it's so accurate to the show. It hurts. This it is. In particular. It's really good. It's like literally like. I can almost imagine people climbing up here and going, wait a minute, wasn't there that one where Chakotay goes, ah, poof, and like, and they spend the whole episode figuring out why? Uh, I can't remember that one, I haven't watched one. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? Generic Voyager and episode. You can almost hear Bellana yelling at you. Yeah. <laughs> and then up here, is, I've got three probe docking areas. Yep. Are they all damaged? I haven't fixed them yet. Ooh, probes. Probes for probing. Probing they things. Don't, they don't have doors so that I can undock them whilst flying. So yeah, that, that's fair them. enough. It's, uh, uh, you know, feature... Uh, usability overlooks. Yeah, that makes and sense. And they're all the same, so... Yeah. I like that. I always like the idea of having um, a type of drone that you could undock which would seek a planet and when it hit the planet it would explode and then you'd get a little message saying how many like plextaniums were in the planet and stuff like that like a proper nasa moon probe thing probe, yeah yeah they, they should do that to make mining yeah, better modules they should maybe one day with a mod who knows they should have um ship turret and probe maybe it's a bit too realistic for um for, for a game i don't know it'll be kind of cool Anyway, well, on uh, with the tour! I think we should probably hurry up because there's quite a lot left. That's right, let's do this. Where am I? Where's he going? Where's he gone? He's gone up. I'm glad there's other people here because I'd have lost you. <laughs> okay, where are you going? Up, up here, this is one of the sort of uh, crew quarters areas, sort of general area. Uh, okay. It's the same on the other side. So oh man, proper corridors side. and stuff. Ooh. This is storage. Uh, not actually storing anything, but... <laughs> yeah, like guns, <laughs> need a room. phaser rifles. Yeah. Phaser rifles, yeah. Just in case you get breached, as we saw recently. Uh, then down here, there's uh, one of the master suite rooms. I think we might might have gone past it. I'm not oh sure. really? Oh damn! It was the door. Oh, was... No, no, I'm getting lost. Sorry. You're getting lost, are you? Don't say yeah, that. It's, it's such a big ship. I can't uh, remember. Uh, it's down here. Out here it is. This is this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Where's the, the replicator room. though, dude? Haven't figured out how to do them yet. I'm, I'm thinking of how to do them. Still uh, nice I don't though. Don't they actually have replicators in quarters in Voyager? Don't they? they have, like rations. And oh stuff, yeah, so yeah, true. So they weren't allowed to use them. Yeah, you're right. Okay. He's got me. He's got me on law. Damn. And the, there's tiny <laughs> rooms down here. Tiny rooms for unimportant people, like ensigns. Yeah, and they, they have nice windows, so... Red shirts. That one doesn't open. Never mind. <laughs> it's factioned. Oh, what? It's just a cupboard. A factioned cupboard? No, it's the ship. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> See, so far I thought I was opening the doors. It was just that, you. That's something somebody needs to make now. It's a faction cupboard. I think we need to assign that to Von Doom. This is just a... <laughs> a faction cupboard. Brilliant. Another little rooms, and then we're going back and down the corridor. Uh, and then down here, it's the same on the opposite side, but down here there's actually a thing that leads into the warp core viewing area, so you can actually go and edit the warp core and stuff. I don't know about you, Dal, but would you say this is the most finished off interior in a Voyager ship that's fully Definitely. hand-built? In fact, I would say this is the most complete Intrepid class I've seen, period, yeah. edited or otherwise. Since I showed you, I've actually added the full cargo bay. Yes! Oh, okay, let's check that out. I don't know, I think oh, that might hurt um, feelings. No, not at all, because uh, if Ethior's in the Smet used Smedit, or from Minecraft Planet, so he, I'm sure he understands that it's a different class of ship, isn't it? 
if it's 100% hand built, it's not really fair to, ch to judge them in the same category. You know what I mean? And even in the uh, Smedits, the interiors were never this fully fleshed out. You know what I mean? Because that's the bit that takes the time. Um, oh, I went the wrong way there. Unless, of course, idea. unless, of course, um, Ethior has actually completed the interior since I last saw it. Hey, Tom. We're coming back up. Are you? Because I don't know. I, uh, I think. Oh, that, that's uh, main engineering. Where exactly is... Up. up. There is no up. Only uh, down. Where'd you go? Oh, there you uh, are. No, there's, there's, a t the, there's a turbo lift right by the shuttle bay over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I couldn't fly in build mode anymore. What White hole on lights. Eyes are blind. What? What? <laughs> what interior? I just logged in. The first thing I hear is something about an interior I was working on. What? No, not at all, mate. Someone, I was just saying this is probably the most fleshed out interior I've seen on an Intrepid class that's fully hand built, right? And someone said, oh, that might hurt Ethiel's feelings. And I was like, well, I th thought that he knew that it was a different class of ship, being as that it was a Smedic. So obviously it's not fair to judge him in the same class, you know? Well, yeah, there's also the fact that why should I care? <laughs> the way I do it my way. There's that's also that. <laughs> These in the nicest possible way, of course. These corridors both lead the same way, so one leads through the core room, though, so... I'll take that one. Okay. Lead the way, boss. Also, new mic. New I can door. tell, yeah, that sounds really good, actually. You can tell. Hey, you should come and check this out, actually. It's quite nice. Well, I'm in stow right now. Oh, are you? Oh, fair enough. And since I got a new video card, I'm using a distress test with Stowe. Oh, uh, that's, yeah, that's fair enough. There's a lot more stresses you can do in there with that, yeah. <laughs> we're just oh, doing a like... lineup review, so we're just recording with the guy doing this shit. Right. There's not much to the main core, it's all just, uh, kind of, just a little pod thing. It got destroyed when I was building it, so I had to get back in it. And then up here is, uh, storage. Nice. Yeah. But we're streaming it live as well. At the same time. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I can wait and strip this still. Just about 20, 30 minutes. Nice. Well, I guess I'd just say hello to the internet, shouldn't I? Yep. Hello, internet. Hello. Will you give us cupcakes? Um, uh, and also, uh, the, the I think the area surrounding the um, core is 15 blocks thick. I'm not sure on that. I can't okay. Remember. Like armor. Like that. Yeah. If, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in build mode for four hours, yeah, it's roughly that. Where to next, then? Captain? Uh, I think this is where the holodeck is. Holodeck? Um, Lead the way. Finished. Oh, yes. I, I've, plan I've planned it out like you said, Damon, but it's not finished yet. Um, I can't wait to see it. Oh, wait a minute. That's what it looks like when they turn it off. Yeah. And then yeah. I've got one in the back that are going to lead into different programs. Oh um, wow, clever. But at the moment just need to open space, so... That's clever. And this ship is, has virtually no shield for power yet. Just an Oh god. Oh god. So but it has full weapon systems, so... Okay. <laughs> That's alright then. Even if it can only fire the shotgun. <laughs> right, so you have a holodeck. That's a first. I haven't seen anyone build a holodeck. And, uh, down Does anyone build a holodeck? Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is escape pods and the Borg cargo bay. Borg cargo bay? So this is escape pods. Escape, They're all the same yeah, you better, okay. Oh, wow. This is a little escape pod. And you can uh, undock it and get out and stuff. Cool. Self-explanatory. Very nice. If the shuttle bay's been blown up or something. Yeah. But what if the lifeboats have been blown up? Uh, just, get in, get, just get in the holodeck oh, and dude. find a happy place. <laughs> so this is 666, six, six, right? Great. No way! Six, four, six. Okay, fair enough. So we've got, you've got the recharge stations and cargo thingies and everything. Cargo bay three. I am Borg. <laughs> I'm going to have to just... You will adapt. <laughs> Resistance is through I've got to plug in. Oh. <laughs> Be assimilated. That's brilliant. Pure, pure awesome. The, the um, 
docking enhanced move, so I thought that'd be good for the head thing. Yeah. Wow. Kudos. And uh, I actually also have some transporters uh, oh, here over here. <laughs> oh, and I actually have some also. <laughs> yeah, I love it, I love it. It's great. Give me some cuff in his pants right now. This is great. No idea. This is great. I love it. Oh, God! Help us! Uh, Help us! Save yourselves! Save yourselves! I'm near the core. Get Quick! To the core. Get to the core! Yay, core! Quick! Oh, no! Oh, I glitched oh. somewhere. I'm stuck in a wall. Help. I think we're. Uh, did you manage to make it to the core? No, I'm in a wall. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm in the so close, space. I can see the core. I think we're near the doors for the holodeck, but I'm not sure. Zero's oh, I'm out. I'm near the core. I can dig into the core. Okay, I'm, I'm at the core. Okay, now. you should be level again, or ish. <laughs> I'll go and send What happened? I think a pilot got overzealous and uh, might have hit you. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm in the corridor below my core. I'm I'm looking at your core. <laughs> We're both. Where's the captain of this ship? We're both ship, ogling right? the core. Where is uh, he? The, one, of the, one of the things up ahead, actually, that I really like uh, is the bridge. Oh yeah, we definitely need to see the bridge. We can't. Here he is. Right. Don't worry. It's stopped moving now. Let's just try and go for it. How far through do you reckon we are? Uh, probably. Maybe 70. Okay. I'm not good with percent, so. <laughs> Sounds good to the top. Yep, uh, if I'm correct, I think this is uh, Captain's Quarters, but I'm Captain probably wrong. Uh, no, this isn't Captain's Quarters. Ah, uh, yeah, Real this is Comp Docking room. activated. Cap no respectable ship can this is, ever uh, survive with that one. Need, everyone room. needs a conference room. Uh, we're actually on the same level as the bridge at the moment, so we'll go through into there in a sec. Very nice. I'm not sure what I did with these plex doors. <laughs> it was getting ready to ask you about them. What do they do? Are they just decorations? I think they're just like speakers. Right. I can't remember. Let's go. Let's get this on the road. And uh, drum roll. This is uh, the main bridge. Yep. I'll be sticking around. I want to tour it. Oh. Look at the bridge. Very nice. Shiny. <laughs> so many plex lights. It's very lit up, so you can see everything. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Hmm. I've got the captain's ready room as well over here. Okay. Uh, they're, they're mirrored, so there's two of them. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, awesome. So we've got a uh, captain's ready room. What's that? What a great view. Through here. Oh, yeah, that's a the view is yeah. pretty good at the moment. Yeah. Well, oh, it's another cupboard. <laughs> I love my cupboards. Nice. They're useful. So there it is. There's the bridge. Right then. You need to get um, through. What's next? I think. The next bit is the, probably the transporters. Yeah, we haven't seen the transporters. We need to see the transporters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Geronimo. Yeah, the, the only problem is it's hard to get around when you're in gravity because of all my turbo lifts. So, <laughs> I think uh, duplex, uh, duplex doors with uh, four block spacer, and as you go up, you just close the doors under you. Oh yeah, I could do it. That's a good idea. Or, or with the new gravity things, I could just do it so that the gravity stuff flips well, you. Well, then you want flex doors at every floor. This way you don't pass through your stuff. Where are we yeah, going, bro? The color code, though. Uh, I think this is where the transporters are. Oh boy. Yeah, these transporters. Mm, yeah, I got the controls. Okay. Beat me up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is where you need the ship cord to just okay. move and then all of a sudden it tells Okay, I'm gonna try and teleport you. I think, I think, I think it worked. <laughs> uh, we're, we're the duplicates. I'm not sure, I'm gonna try and teleport him back. Okay, I'm materializing the beam. Oh, it was a success. Damn on. I think 
How are you feeling? I, I've seen some things that man wasn't meant to see. I only sent him to the spawn, it must be pretty bad there. <laughs> oh, um, to malfunction. Transport a malfunction. Walk it off, man, walk it off. That seems to be a common theory. Walk it off, even though you have four <laughs> legs, walk it off. You've got to go and You're see the doctor. Oh yeah, oh. where's this oh, yeah. doctor's the doctor? The holiday. Yeah, the, the two things I haven't and done. And the holiday, the holiday doctor. There's no um, holiday doctor. I, yeah, I haven't done astrometrics or the sick bay yet. That's the ah, only thing I've done. That's all right. That's something for you to show me in an update then. So then, where are we going yeah, next? And uh, once I finish the weapons as well, that's interesting. What's where are we going now then? Have we have we seen everything? Uh, have we seen two rooms everything. Up here. Okay. And uh, there's the Delta Flyer Shuttle Bay. Which okay. Should be the Aero Shuttle, but I didn't have the space for the Shuttle Bay. Uh, this is Captain's Quarters. Yep. Uh, the door won't open. Ooh. Ah, okay. Stuff and things. Captain's Please, Quarters is pretty luxurious. And uh, I left Symmetry on, so we actually have two bathrooms. <coughs> One of them's the queue. Two bathrooms. Oh god. Two. Not queue. Any. Let's just say uh, anything but. Queue. One of them's the queue. <laughs> Could you at least put the hot coffee So, there you go. And you can go down the drain in the shower. <laughs> oh god. What? Please tell me you're not dreaming. What the? Where are you going? I did have lava. Into yellow. Stuff, so Gross. Gross. There's like the captain's refuse down there. It's not good. Okay, <laughs> where to Call next? The uh, the yeah. Next bit is sort of like the communal area. That's like it's a bit like Neenix's kitchen, which is another thing I haven't done yet. Oh no, it's up here. Oh, upwards. Board, tidy hole. Neenix's kitchen. Uh, well, actually, this is sort of just like a communal area. This is just... Oh, right. Oh, well. I was Something all like, yeah, yeah, and then... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you have to do it now. You have to put yeah, exactly one it. one red wedge in there to represent him, too. <laughs> one red wedge. Just now when people ask. This is Neelix. This is Neelix. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah. Wedge. <laughs> Another nice view as well. Interesting. You can almost see the uh, USS Voyager and NCC on the front. Uh, I, I've tried to make it look like it says USS Voyager, but it was kind of difficult with the little sword. Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. The registry number. So yeah, then. Seven four six five six. Let's get to that last destination on this tour. Where is it? Uh, yeah, the last thing is the uh, hangar bay for the. Does fly, uh, actually, there's a little viewing thing in front of the hangar bay, so... Well, that's alright. If it's on the way, that's no problem. Ooh. Well, it's kind of just past it, but not that far. Here we and, go. And uh, this Delta Flyer wasn't designed for this shuttle bay. Uh, I had another one, but I lost that one before I saved it. Uh-oh, uh lag! Yeah. I, I built this one, and it's the wrong size, so I just docked it anyway, so it's kind of sticking through the ceiling. Oh, yeah, I kind yeah. of moved, so I think that might have been bad. Oh, right. Got you. I, I've also got... Uh, an interior on the Delta Flyer. So. Oh, okay. Well, we'll take a quick look through that. Oh, uh, this is the little sort of viewing area. Out okay, front. let's check that out. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Got chairs. The ship's moving. It disappeared. Not on this one yet. Everything seems okay. Right then. And so, the uh, last destination is the uh, Delta Flyer. Cool. Because the, the queue will become restless. Um, I think it, you might want to stay out of the Delta Flyer if I'm going to undock it, because oh. uh, it's kind of glitchy. Do you want to open the door first? Yeah, the uh, door. <laughs> oh, I need to open that the actual hangar. Bay yeah, that's what I mean. Shit. That would be a good idea, because I'm looking at half your Delta Flyer yeah. sticking out of it. <laughs> you don't want to yeah. undock that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, something I forgot, which I'll show you once we're out of the ship. Uh, I have uh, landing gear on Voyager. Oh, nice. Oh! Flex doors. That's, flex doors. that's cool. Okay. And inside my core room, I've got this uh, wedge in the floor that you press R on and it opens up so you can get to the thing. Hmm. Right, do it. Sound back of the uh, Delta Flyer. It's gonna oh, yeah, we're up. waiting. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. 
<laughs> and hey, look, I came with you. How practical. Uh, <laughs> look at that, I'm right behind you, so to just right level your uh, yeah, the ship. Open. Level your I'll, ship, dude. Uh, do that, yeah. There we go. Hey, look, yeah, we all teleported with you, isn't that nice? Oh, wait, it's because the big ship got moved. The oh, big ship's now a couple hundred yeah, the big ship moved, not okay. us. <laughs> That's because the Delta Flyer's wings are too big for the little dock it was in. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, right, the so... The back here in the back of the ship. I'm just coming round it now. And... There we go. Planet Hoth as well. Um, Very nice interior. Uh, we've got awesome. a little cockpit up front, and uh, if, if you remember, uh, Tom Paris had the little sort of retro style control panel on his right, so I've got that there, with all the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> um, and up here we've got the uh, landing, uh, the, the white things that mean, mean buttons, so that's the landing gear, and then that's the faction, down here is the faction block on the port. Nice. Put the landing gear down. Oh, that's pretty clever. The wedges. Oh, That's the, there we go. Um, it has quite a few. It has uh, missiles, weapons, healing beams, and salvage. So, quite a lot <laughs> in a tiny little ship. Well, you'd be and, amazed uh, what you can stuff into a tiny little ship and sacrifice the shields. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't have that many shields, uh, but the wings are full of shields, so it's got a bit more than it should. Uh, I've also got the ball technology on the top. Nice. Um, and the landing gear, so. Right, so what's your name then, buddy? Uh, Lego Assassin 57. Lego Assassin 57, and the name of your ship, this one first? Uh, Delta Flyer. Uh, and the then the main yeah. ship that we've just been doing a review on was... Uh, USS Voyager NCC 74656. Excellent, so there you have it. So thanks uh, very much for joining me on this yep. lineup review. And uh, thanks for everybody watching. So I will see you in the next one. There it goes.